Yo, it's your boy Sing Jiddy back with another video. I know it's been a minute, but I have this song here called Winding Down. If you want to know how I made it, stay tuned. I'll skip to the B section to hear some stuff real quick. Right, and then the last section. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Anyway, so welcome back. So the first thing I did was I recorded some guitar. Okay, so let me turn all this processing off so you can hear what it sounds like before. All right. So, first thing we are doing, I'm using this Arturia Neve, um, Neve, I'm using this Arturia Neve preamp. And I'm using it kind of as an EQ to clean up as well. When I take it off with, So you can hear I'm taking off some of the lows. So as you can see around 71 hertz, I'm doing a low shelf, just um, reducing by like minus four dB. Um, I'm also pushing the input gain a little bit just to get some of that saturation and I have the transformer type here. Cool. Then I also have another low shelf. With the EQ, add some Echo Boy. Very subtle, but just wanted to widen it a little bit. Some more EQ. Just getting rid of some resonances. Some compression. And then my favorite, some tape. Right. Um, I love using this tape and you could hear how it really makes it more lo-fi ish. Then add in some final delay. I was just playing around with this plugin with it off on. All right. So some nice character next. So I, I, I basically started off with the guitar just play those chords um, on my guitar. From there, bass. Now, with the bass, I am, I recorded it with my MIDI keyboard. So I am using a pitch wheel with some of those notes um, to give it that glide. That meow, right? It goes well with the guitar because my guitar is a little... Right? Nice. When I continue here. Right. Also, how I get my bass, besides the pitch glide, there's also another thing that I'm doing. So I have my bass sample here, which is just from a Cymatics pack. Um, if you go over to the control section, you this is usually off. You click glide 
or portamento, but I am choosing glide for this one. Um, the portamento is set in like, if you click one note, so let me just demonstrate it actually. So this would be glide and with the portamento, it attacks the next note, whereas glide doesn't attack the next note. It just smoothly transitions. So that's that. So I have it on my glide. I have my glide timer on 45 seconds. How did I get that time? I just played with it until I liked it. So that's how I'm doing that right there. So let's go over like main elements. We have guitar, bass, drums. Our main elements is first, right? So I am beatboxing at the start here. Right, so just beatboxing. Then I have my samples that I am programmed. I've programmed. Pretty simple. Now, how did I get that swing feel? I just played it, right? I played it on my laptop keyboard, actually. That's how I got the swing feel. Um, moving on to when I have different sections, I introduce shakers in the B section to add variety and movement. And then when we come back to the repeat of the A section, we have this second shaker and also a clap layer here, right? My friend Maelstro. Give me some transitions to use. Now, where's the melody? I played the melody with my guitar once again. Um, I actually used some RX denoise on it because it's a pretty noisy recording. If you could hear it by itself. You can hear the noise from my open back headphones. So I'm just getting rid of some of that and applying a filter. And then add some compression. LA2A once again. Echo Boy. Thicken it up a little bit. And then a little more compression. Yeah. Now I have a really fast attack time. 2.08 milliseconds. And why do I have that? Because the transient of the guitar is really, it's a little too much. So I wanted to tame it a little bit, which is why I'm kind of squashing just the top of that transient with my guitar. Next, I have these pianos, these roads that come in in the middle of the section to add some more variety. And I have a piano melody that goes on the right side. So left side, I have the nice pad and the right side, I have this little melody. Cool. In context. I recorded myself whistling to layer that melody there. And cool, nice. So we have a nice little section going on here. Um, the B section. It's the same chords, the chords haven't changed. But the tempo has changed. One new chord, right? But we slowed it down a bit as opposed to Breathe, right? So that's how you create variation. Slow it down. You could keep the simple chord progression, but slow it down a little bit, right? And I'm doing that because my friend Kobe on guitar is soloing and he pulls out the craziest solo. OK, 
Okay, I'm using Archetype, Corey Wong. And I think I asked him to tweak it or I tweaked it. I can't remember. Yeah, like he came up with these settings for himself. He's a guitar player, so yeah. And it sounded great. And we say, okay, cool, we have that. Then we continue to the next section where I add some vocals. Overall, on this, in, I'm treating this entire vocal like a chorus. So instead of EQing individual stuff, I'm more so just applying group processing. So I have some compression. Let me take all of this off, actually, so you could hear it without it. with it so let's go through one by one just hear what everything is doing compression not it's very light just catch any peaks next some eq another eq using the pull tech Some extra EQ just to get rid of some of those resonances. And then some reverb with a short reverb time. So you see, I put this short reverb here just because I'm close, I'm close miking everything. So I'm, I'm recording everything super close. As a result, I want it to sound more like I'm in a room, more natural. So I put a little room reverb here. And yeah. I'm also sending that to some saturation. Um, using this right here. Right, and on my master, some bus compression. And a limiter. And that's it. And last but not least, I do, I do have some ambience going on throughout the entire time. And that's pretty much it. So if you enjoyed, I hope you love, if you enjoyed, like and subscribe. I hope that you learned something. I'm just showing you why I do and what I made. All right. See ya. I'm going to just vibe until the song ends.